Bombers. They are those infected types that are known for their exposed organs and shambling jog. Bombers' behavior is not unlike common infected, for example, biters, but one major difference between them is that the bomber picks up speed and begins to convulse whenever non infected humans are within their proximity. Whether this infected type manages to get close enough to the player or is shot from a distance, the result always ends up the infected type's body exploding, resulted in blinding the player character with his coagulated blood. The bomber not only explodes when in the vicinity of another player, but it will also explode if the player is within its view, but cannot reach him. This explosion calls in viral who are quite capable of climbing up to attack you generally in groups of 3 or 4, showing that the bomber has another role as well as a siren calling in dangerous infected types. Bombers explode immediately when damaged. This makes attacking them with a melee weapon fatal regardless of health. Also, don't even try to kick them. Throwing a weapon, even a broken one, or using a firearm from a far safest distance is a good way to eliminate a bomber. Though a more direct method is possibly by simply vaulting over them or just running straight past them. If you vault over them when other zombies are nearby, you'll clear most of them and they'll be destroyed in the explosion. Bombers, they are typically very quiet until about to explode. They're also invisible on the minimap. Also, it's recommended to pay close attention to your surroundings all the time. If you see one approaching during a fight, either try to hit him from a far distance or simply run away immediately. Remember that the bombers attract virals after exploding. Seek high ground immediately after seeing one so you can combat the resulting virals easily without actually getting flanked or overwhelmed by the biters. Did you know the explosion is strong enough to wipe out biters and toads within the range? It can also knock down virals already present, allowing you a small time window to attack them safely. By the way, it can also knock down goons and demolisher and it can also change their balance so you can see they are pretty strong. They also do a lot of damage to them. Bombers in Dying Light do look different from what we are used to seeing in Dying Light. Here's an image I edited so you can see and get a proper look at them. Also, we got a small clip of the new bomber in action during the Dying Light 2 uh, Dying to Know event. That's the episode too. And one thing to notice is that bombers and almost all the other infected have these glowing bulbous weak spots that can be used to take them down easily. Bombers, they are introduced in Dying Light 2 during a mission for peacekeepers. Trust me, even Papa Volatile is scared of bombers. Anyways guys, that's all we know about the bombers from Dying Light 2. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human. Also, I think Papa Volatile really liked my recent drawing. <laughs>